I'm Mark Clayton, I'm Tara Cranes and Hoist Manager for Fletcher Construction and today here at Drury Yard we put in the decals on the new 357 HCL tower crane. The crane when it's first erected will be around about 97 metres to the tip of the jib and as the building climbs up the crane will follow it in seven different increments of climbing. At each increment of climbing it's actually secured back to the building which keeps it as rigid as possible. Uh, there's going to be a 45 metre boom on the crane, which means to offset that we have to put 38 tonnes of counterweight on the back of the crane. Uh, it's got a special hook which can actually be used as a single line or a double line on the hook, which is either 18 tonnes or 32 tonnes capacity. On this particular job we're going to use it as 32 tonnes capacity, which means it needs a hoist rope a length of 550 metres. Hoist rope alone weighs two and a half tonnes. The hook, which is just behind me here, um, we've had to buy specialised chains and rigging for it because the ones that we use just physically won't fit over the hook. They're just too big. The crane is one of four cranes that we're going to be using at Commercial Bay Project. And this, along with another crane, will be climbing with the tower. But this particular crane, who we've nicknamed Eni, because there's four cranes on the job, Eni, Meeny, Miny and Mo, will actually be the tallest in New Zealand at 225 metres to the tip of the jib. When the crane's first erected, the driver has to climb from the very base of the crane, up the towers and into the cab. This will normally take 10 to 15 minutes because he's doing his daily checks as he climbs, which is all the bolts, pins, ladders and everything else. Once he gets into the cabin, he then powers up the crane and he'll go to the back side of the crane and again carry on doing his daily checks. Once he gets back into the, into the cabin again, he's got all the latest state-of-the-art equipment in there, including something which is a bit exclusive by Fletcher's, which is a hook camera system. He's got a screen about the size of an iPad in his cabin and there's a camera attached to the crane hook and he can see directly down for every metre in height, he can see a metre in width. So he's got everything going for him. Even the seat in the operator's cab has got over 40 adjustments because when he's up there for eight to 10 hours, he needs to be as comfortable as he can. We ordered the crane approximately six months ago. It was 21 weeks coming out of the factory being manufactured and another six to seven weeks on the, um, on the boat. It came on three separate vessels, which made life a little bit difficult with getting it from the port to here, but um, that was achieved okay. Since it came to the yard, we've pre-inspected the crane, tested and made sure the bits fit properly, and we've put all the decals on and branding now. So that's uh, all ready to go. It's been a long time coming, six plus months in the making. We're really excited to get this crane up, we want to see it working and doing what it's supposed to do.